Welcome everybody to the uh, Special Olympics Northern California Nevada uh, Health and Fitness at Home Workout. Uh, we are here live with the Raiders. Um, but before we get started, uh, I just want to read something out to you. By participating in the NFL virtual event via Zoom, you agree to the terms stated in the NFL waiver that was sent to you via the reminder email. And if you haven't checked that out yet, Here's uh, what it says in there. All right, let's get it going. My name is Harry Mong, and on behalf of the Special Olympic athletes, the NFL, and the Las Vegas Raiders, um, it is great that we can all be here together virtually, even though we cannot be together physically, uh, to do this virtual Play 60 uh, training camp. We know that everybody across the country is feeling the impact from COVID-19, and our thoughts and uh, prayers are with every person who has been affected. We hope that everybody here is doing great and stay, doing well and staying safe. Um, we are looking forward to getting started. Uh, we have athletes from Elko County. We have Ryan Allred. We have Paul Brooks from Las Vegas. We have Eric Barber and family from Winnemucca. We have Christine McCullough from Las Vegas. We have Denton Dorn from Mesquite. And we have Billy Clem from Pahrump. And our special guest today, leading us in our uh, leading us in our events, um, is AJ Cole, punter from the Las Vegas Raiders. So AJ, welcome. Thank you for being here. Yeah, excited to be here. Ready to get a little workout in. Yeah, uh, I'm sure that you've been doing a lot of working out from uh, your house since you can't really go anywhere, huh? Yeah, trapped inside, but making the most. We got a couple. Uh, couple weights down here and we've been making it work so it's been a lot of fun trying to figure out new creative workouts so we it's it's been a good time awesome um we have as you can see we have our athletes from uh across the state um ready to uh work out with uh the raiders and yourself um what can what can people expect from uh today's uh workout uh, well, today we're going to get out and we're going to start with a little warm up, um, do a couple of stretches that I like to do to get the muscles loose. Um, we're going to do a, a circuit workout with three rounds of three different um, exercises. Um, we're going to finish with a nice little cool down and we're going to make sure to get some, you know, water breaks in there and just, uh, you know, try and hit a bunch of different muscle groups and uh, have a lot of fun. Is there any props that they should have ready? Uh... For the so I have a yoga mat set down, but that's really just because I'm on a hardwood floor. If you're on a carpet or anything like that, you should be fine. The only thing you really need to have access to is a wall and a chair. If you have those two things, pretty much should be uh, we should be good to go. Cool. And make sure you have your water too. So yes, your uh, water to stay hydrated. Um, so also to those at home, oh, Taco Tuesday cup. Uh, to those at home. Um, at the at the bottom of your screen, if you have, we'll have a question and answer portion at the end of the workout that you can ask AJ. Um, there are there's a chat portion and question and answer tab there that you can type your questions in there. Um, we'll try to get to as many questions as we can, um, but uh, please make sure if you want to try to get a question in there that you type it uh, type it in there. Um, I don't know about you, AJ. You ready to roll? I'm ready to rock. All right. I'm going to turn it over to AJ. Everybody be ready to work out. AJ, it's all you. All right, here we go. So we got two rules of the workout. Rule number one, work hard. Rule number two, have fun. All right. So we don't need our chair to start. We're going to start off with a couple of uh, a couple stretches first here. All right. So first thing I want everybody to do 
It's called, it's a little calf stretch, right? So the calf, this muscle right here, all right? So you're gonna wanna find a wall, all right? Set up like this, all right? And you're gonna wanna have your left foot first to start and the right foot's gonna be back. Now you're gonna try and keep your right ankle on the ground and just lean into the wall. You're gonna wanna feel that stretch all the way down the back here, all right? So we're gonna go for 30 seconds to start, just calf stretch. All right, here we go. Lean into the wall a little bit more, you can feel it a little bit more down the side of that leg right there. Feels like it's too easy, you can kick your leg back, try to keep that ankle down. Feels like it's too hard, you can scoot a little closer to the wall, it'll be a little easier. All right, when we get to 30 seconds, we're going to switch sides. All right, switch. Now we're going to go to the left leg back, right leg up. Remember, try and keep that ankle down. Try and lean into that wall and get that calf. Again, if you want to make it harder, you can go further away from the wall. Easier, you can go a little closer, wherever you need to be. Stay right here. All right, we got five more seconds of that. Three, two, one. All right, now the next pose we're going to go to, it's called child's pose. It's a big pose that's used in yoga a lot of times. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in this position right here. All right, you're going to have your knees right here. Your feet are back. Your toes are going to be pointed at that back wall, wherever you're at. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the hips back here and get the arms out in front. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to send your hips back in the opposite direction of your hands. We're going to get in this position. We're going to hold it for about 30 seconds. Now you should feel this stretch in your legs, somewhere along the hips, the quads, and you should feel it in your shoulders too. If you can, you can try and get that head all the way down to the floor, um, about right there, and just hold this position right here. All right, five more seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, great, good job. All right, so here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna get on our back, all right? Laying down, it's like the easiest thing to do, all right? We're gonna get our left leg first, and we're gonna bring it up like this. So you're gonna wanna grab this shin right here with both arms. You're gonna wanna grab it and pull this leg in. Try and get this knee all the way up to your shoulder. You won't be able to, but just get it right about here. We're gonna go about 30 seconds on this. Try and pull it and hold it. Oh, I feel this stretch nice. Right in that hip, right along that hamstring too. All right, five more seconds here. All right, good, relax. All right, now we're gonna switch legs. We're gonna go into the right side. Same thing, hold that shin right here, both, both hands, pull it up. Try and hold it wherever you feel comfortable. You don't want to reach too hard. You don't want to go too soft. You just want to get right in that point where you feel that nice, good stretch. And just hold it like that over 30 seconds. All right. Five more seconds here. All right, now everybody stand up. All right, I'm gonna adjust this camera so you can see me a little bit. And I just wanna do the most basic stretch. It's right here. Shake everything out, legs, arms, couple twists, couple shakes. All right, cool. All right, now everybody grab your water. Now part of the importance of working out is hydration. I got my cup right here. It says, let's talk about fitness. Take a little sip of this, get some water. All right, so now we're about to start our workout circuit, okay? Now the first thing we're gonna do is jumping jacks, all right? Jumping jacks, just gonna be right here. It's gonna be like that, all right? We're gonna go 30 seconds on, and we're gonna go a minute off. So uh, when then after that, we're gonna go into something else, all right? So we're gonna start this in about, 
10 seconds. Make sure everybody's ready. We ready to rock? Yeah? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Let's go. All right. Three, 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Starting in three, two, one, go. Good little way to get the heart rate going, get everything moving. Ten more seconds. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. Nice. That was good. All right. So the next exercise we're going to get into is going to be straight leg raises. All right. So I want everybody to grab their chair for this one. Yeah, I'm going to tilt this down a little bit so we can see. All right. So this one right here. You're going to straighten one leg and you're going to raise it as high as you can and then bring it back down. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, 10 reps on each side. All right, we're going to start that in about 15 seconds here. All right, we'll start in five seconds. All right, so we're going to start with the right leg. So you're going to want to kind of be on the front of the chair here. Just get your hands back here to brace yourself. Lock out that leg, and three, two, one, we'll go to in 10 total reps. Just slow and controlled, two, three, four. Try and see how high you can get that leg. See if you can touch the ceiling. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, very good. All right, now we're going to do the left leg. All right. All right, we'll start this in three, two, one. Left leg out. There we go. Oh, see, I can't go as high on this left side. That's right, because I'm used to punting with my right foot. Or see how high you can get it. Five, six. Try and stay paced with me. You have seven, eight, nine. And 10. Great job. Really good. All right, so the last exercise we're going to do in this circuit is called penguins. So we're going to get this one and then we're going to um, get a little water break, get a little rest time, probably for about a minute or so. All right, so I'll show you what a penguin is. All right, so you're going to want to get like this. You're going to want to squeeze these abs like you're flexing in front of the mirror. All right, you want to squeeze the abs as much as you can and you're going to reach one arm down. Try and get to your knee, and then reach the other arm. So we're going to do this for 30 seconds. So you're going to be squeezed, and you're going to be going like this. And you're going like that, all right? Everybody good? We understand that? Yeah? Good, good? All right. You need about 10 more seconds of rest here. And then we're going to get going. All right, so we're going to do 30 seconds of penguins. All right. Let's go going in five, four, three. Two, one. Try and squeeze these sides down here. The more you squeeze the abs, the more it's going to do. And the more you're going to look like a penguin. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and we're done. Relax. Well, I feel that right in there, yeah. That was a good one. All right, so take another water break. Everybody, grab your water bottle. Cheers. There we go. Cheers. All right. So, so that was one circuit down. So what we're doing is three total circuits of three exercises. So that was our first round of everything. Everybody feeling good? Give me a thumbs up for feeling good. Everybody feeling good? I'm clicking through. I'm seeing everybody. Yep, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. I got a lot, two thumbs up, okay. All right, we're feeling great. All right, 
So this, I, I think this is my favorite one. We might have to get an extra set of this at the end because this is my favorite one. All right, so this exercise is going to be quick punches. All right, so I want everybody to stand, right? Good athletic stance. You want your knees to be bent a little bit. We're going to stand right here. We're going to have our hands in fists, and we're going to be punching right here. All right, so it's going to be as fast as you can, and we're going to be going like that. We're going to do that for 30 total seconds. All right, and same thing as the last one. Squeeze everything and just go as fast as you can for 30 seconds. All right, and we'll get, make sure you get that minute rest there at the end. All right, we start this in 10 seconds. Take another little sip of water. Keep talking about fitness. All right, here we go. Ready to get going in five seconds? All right, I want everybody to go as fast as they can on this. The goal is speed, speed, speed. All right, three, two, one, go. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. Who thinks they did the most push-ups or punches? Raise your hand if you did the most. Who did the most? Everybody, who thinks they did the most? Yeah? I think it's a tie. I think I got last, though. I'm getting a little tired, huh? All right. Next thing we're going to do is wall push-ups, all right? So for this, you're going to need a wall, all right? So you're going to get right here. And depending on how difficult or easy it can be, same as the calf stretches, you can be closer to the wall or further away from the wall. So you can just be right here. If that feels good, you feel like you can get out here, that would be a little harder, all right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to do 10 wall pushes. So everybody, get where you are situated. And then if it's too easy, too hard, you can adjust, move further back or, uh, or closer, however you want to do it. All right. Get about 10. I'm out of breath. Whew. All right. You're going to start in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, go. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Everybody done? Great job. Great job. All right. This one is going to be toe taps. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, I want everybody to situate themselves where they've got some goal. So I'm putting this right here, and what I'm gonna do is, I'll adjust this so you can see my face maybe in a sec, but you're gonna be here. We're gonna be switching like this, all right? It's called toe taps, all right? So everybody, maybe find a line or, or just kinda of pick a spot on the floor that you're gonna be trying reaching out to. So we're just going to keep switching legs. So it's going to be right, left, right, left, right, left. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. Yeah. And then we're going to get another little water break. That'll be good. We need that. All right. So we're going to be as fast as possible. Fat. They say sometimes in football, they say uh, slow feet don't eat. So we got to eat right now. Who's ready to eat? Yeah, we're going to eat. All right. I'm going to give it five more seconds of rest. And then we're going to get going, all right? Three, two, one, go. Make sure your arms are moving, too. You're going to want to move those arms because the arms move with the feet. So get the arms moving, the feet will be moving. There we go. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Nice job. Nice job. Woo. All right. 
Water break. Everybody grab the water. We get a little cheers going on. Cheers. Now, a lot of times when we're working out, some people have tendency, just keep working out, keep working out. Don't ever get their water, don't ever get their rest. Water and rest is very important in working out because you gotta let your body recover, right? All right, so we've done one, two circuits. So we're gonna do our last circuit of three and then we are gonna have a little bonus. And then we're gonna finish it off with a little cool down, all right? Okay, so. The first exercise in this last circuit. Yeah, okay, I want everybody thumbs up. We good if everybody's thumbs up, thumbs up? Yeah, let's go. All right, so this one, it's gonna be jog in place, okay? Just gonna set it up, we're gonna do 30 seconds. 30 seconds of work and then get a little rest time then. All right. Want everybody hands over your head. We're all champions. That's what champions do, hands over the head like this. All right, we're gonna start in three, two, one. Jogging in place like this, just jogging. There we go. You can get the knees higher up if you feel like it. You can keep them low if you want, however you want to do it. I'm gonna go knees high. Ten seconds. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, done. Rest. All right, so for this next exercise, we're gonna need the chair as well. Set this up. All right, so this exercise is gonna be a chair squat, all right? So basically, we're just sitting down and standing up. We're gonna try and be really controlled when we do it, all right? So you wanna put the chair right where your butt's gonna end up, all right? So you wanna sit your hands out like this. You're gonna to wanna to squat in that chair, stand up, all right? And the key is to be really slow and controlled, yeah, like that, all right? So we're gonna give about 10 more seconds of rest. And uh, yeah, you stick, so you stick the arms out as kind of a counterbalance because your lower body's going back, upper body keeps there. All right, we're gonna do 10 reps of these and we're gonna give it about a minute rest after that. All right, let's get about five more seconds. All right, three, two, one. One, two, Three, four, try and control the whole way, down and up, six, seven, eight, nine, down, and ten. Nice job. All right. Give me a thumbs up if you're sweating a little bit. Who's sweating? Anybody sweating around here? Yeah, I am too. You can see it coming in, I think. Sweat right there. All right, so this is our last exercise of our last set. All right, it's gonna be mountain climbers, okay? So it's gonna be up against the wall, similar to the wall push-ups, and it's gonna be moving your legs. So I'll show you what it is. All right, you're gonna to wanna to be right here. All right, let me adjust this just a little better. Making it work in the living room. All right, you're gonna be right here, and it's gonna be up, up, like this, okay? And you're gonna think about trying and knock your wall over, but not actually, but try and run through that wall, just pumping the legs, pumping the legs. We're gonna go for 30 seconds on, and we're gonna go for another minute rest after, all right? So this, this exercise right here, you just wanna try and get those knees as high as you can. And same thing here, you wanna really contract those abs, try and get the six pack, which I'm still working on. 
All right, so we're gonna go in five seconds and we're gonna do this for 30 seconds and then we're gonna take a little break. All right, five, four, three, two, one. There we go, try and get those knees up. All right, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands over the head. Yeah, yeah. You ever, you ever watch boxing, anything like that? Football? track, you'll see the champions, when they win, put their hands over their head, just like that. All right, now that was the end of the third set, but I wanna do one more set of those punches. Give me a thumbs up if you wanna do one more set of the punches. Who wants to do it, who wants to do it? One more set, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna get one extra set. Because one extra set gets us one extra set better. All right, so we're gonna do one more set. Actually, first of all, everybody, sip of water. Grab your water. Everybody out there, grab your water. Cheers. There we are, cheers, cheers, cheers. All right, I'm ready to rock. Thumbs up. Last one. And we are gonna finish strong, all right? So when you finish a workout, the last set, whatever you're doing, you wanna give all that you have left. When you walk off the gym floor, or in this case, the kitchen floor, say, I got nothing left. That's as hard as I was able to give it today. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go 30 seconds as fast as I can go, as fast as you can go, as fast as we can go. Man, this is good. Y'all still sweating? Yeah, still sweating? Still sweating. All right. Last set and we're gonna get another water break and then we're gonna get another cool down, all right? And I'm thinking, we've been doing 30 seconds. Can we handle 45? Can we do 45? Yeah, we can do 45. All right, 45 seconds of punches. Let's get it, all right? Five, four, three, two, one, go. See if you can get the most punches. Who on this Zoom call? You get the most punches. Feel that burn. You gotta stop and take a rest. That's okay. Just get back in as soon as you can. All right, 15 more seconds. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Champions, we are all champions. Oh wow, that was good. All righty, now we're gonna get a little cool down, all right? So we started off the workout, everybody was cold, everybody was tired, we warmed up the muscles, right? Got them going, and then we burnt them out. Did as much as we could. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cool them down, we're gonna work on a little balance as well, all right? So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is quad stretch. All right, so you can grab your wall, you can grab your chair, whatever, all right? All right, so the quad, as you know, that muscle right there at the front of the leg. Hold on to something, grab your foot like this, try and stretch that muscle, all right? Now, anytime we do stretches, you can go ahead, whenever you're ready, we can just start. Now, you don't want to pull too hard where you're going like that, but you just want to get it nice and good 
So you can feel that from that hip flexor right there all the way down that quad. Hold on to that chair, help you balance. You can do this for about 30 seconds. We have 15 more, so. If you're feeling bold, maybe just take that hand off the chair. Oh, I don't have the balance for that right now. All right, five more seconds. Three, two, one. Anytime we're doing a hold or anything like that, if you fall over, if you lose your balance, that's okay. That happens to everybody. Just get back into position kind of as soon as you can. So keep that note for the future. All right, quad stretch on the other side. So I did the left leg first, now I'm gonna do the right leg. And we're gonna start. Whenever you stretch, you really wanna make sure that you're just focusing on isolating those muscles. It's not a workout. You're just trying to loosen everything up, open it up, where you go about the rest of your day. So we're gonna hold them for about 30 seconds each. Um, that's typically what you're gonna to wanna to do. I need a bigger room so I can get this laptop further away. See my face. All right, about 15 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. All right, good. All right, so now we're going to do uh, leg swings. I'm going to keep it out there so you can see. All right, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get on the wall for this stretch. All right, you're going to be facing the wall. Two hands are going to be like this. You want to get it so that there's nothing in your way because your leg is going to be swinging right here. So I'm going to start with the left leg down, the right leg here, and you're going to go here, back and forth. All right? And we're going to try and get as much range of motion, meaning as high and as high as we can on both sides, as much range of motion as possible. We're going to go for 30 seconds with the right leg, switch, 30 seconds with the left leg. All right. All right, three. Two, one, go. If you lose your balance on this, just like the other one, that's okay, that happens. Just get back on the wall, keep swinging. Got about 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, shake it out, shake it out. Get nice and loose for the rest of our day. All right, we're gonna go left leg now. So we did right, left leg was down, right leg was moving. Now we're gonna go right leg down, left leg is moving. All right, three, two, one, go. Don't want to be too close to your wall that you kick it like I just did. Three, two, one. Nice, good job, good job. All right, we've been stretching for a little bit. When you stretch, the muscles get dehydrated. So grab the water. Everybody, cheers. Very good. All right, next we're gonna do just a little hamstring stretch. All right, so I'm gonna set it down here. All right, so if you have a wall, you can do it on the wall, but if not, you can just sit it down. So I'm going to be right here, and I'm going to go back against the wall. All right, so legs are going to be completely straight, maybe a slight bend in the knees. All right, you want those toes pointed to the sky. All right, so this hamstring, right, which, which we know connects, connects the leg, and we're going to want to reach forward and stretch that hamstring, right? If you get to here, perfectly fine. Here, perfectly fine. Here, further, wherever. Again, when stretching, you want to find where you're comfortably working, but where you're not at risk of hurting yourself, all right? So we're going to go this for about 30 seconds, just a nice static stretch, getting out there. All right, three, two, one, do a little stretch. And what you don't really want to do is you don't really want to round your back as, as much. You want to see if you can stay tall, right? 
because that's how we do our punches. That's how we do our squats, everything. We stay tall. So try and stay tall as you can. Reach that chest towards your toes. Again, if you're right here, completely fine. I kind of got a long arm, so that helps. Get this for about 30 seconds. Oh yeah, I'm already feeling more flexible. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, good job. Good job. All right. All right, I'm gonna do, we're gonna do one more uh, stretching mobility type thing, and then we're gonna do a little balance exercise, finish it off, and then we're gonna go into just talking a little bit, doing some questions. All right, so for this one, what I want everybody to do is, I want everybody to get low, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a step, you're gonna go low, you're gonna go up. So what you're gonna do is, So you're gonna imagine there's like a hurdle right here, all right? And you're trying to go low, duck under the hurdle and come up, all right? So we're gonna do, do, oh, let's go 10 each side. We can go 10 each side, I think. All right, so it's gonna be step, down, up, one. Step, down, up. There we go. And we're just getting low. If you go there, that's perfectly fine. You can just go there, wherever you're at. Three, four, wherever it is. Try and get that stretch. Really feel that. Five. Back and forth. You can go lower down there. Great. If you can't, no worries. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nice job, everybody. Great. All right, so we're gonna go into our last exercise. We're gonna do a little balance, all right? So I want everybody to grab their chair for this one, okay? So I want you to hold the chair right here. And what we're gonna try and do is so you're gonna put the chair in your right hand and we're gonna try and hold our left leg. So we're gonna pick our right foot up, maybe right there, maybe right there. All right, and we're gonna try and, you wanna keep that chair right there because if you fall, that way you don't fall all the way over. Just gonna keep it right there. And we're gonna try and balance as much as we can. All right, all right. So everybody, we're gonna start this. Three, two, one, all right. Try and balance on one foot. What helps is if you pick an object out in the distance, I'm staring at a hat right now. Helps you focus. You just want to squeeze all these muscles. See if we can balance right here. If you fall, it's okay. Just try and get back in it as soon as possible. So about 15 more seconds. Really good to just work on the balance. So we know as athletes, balance is very important. So at the end of our workout, we're just going to train that a little bit. All right, five. Four, three, two, one. All right, of the leg, right foot down. Switch, I'm gonna switch the chair to the other side. All right, and I'm gonna go up. All right, here we go, we're in it. Try and balance as much as you can. You gotta grab onto the chair, maybe just hold it. Balance like that. Over about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, last thing we're gonna do, we're done with the workout. We're just gonna stick our arms out like this. We're gonna move our hands like this. Give yourself a big hug, little twists. Hugs are important. You gotta give them out. You gotta receive them. Right here, right here. If nobody will hug you because of coronavirus, you go like this and just hug yourself. Just like that. All right, everybody, last water break. I want everybody to grab the water, hold it up. Cheers, everybody. We did it.
That was a great workout. All right, so now I guess um, we're going to go into our question answer part and uh, move on from there. Yeah. AJ, thank you for leading that workout. I can see that our athletes are uh, pretty tired and got a good workout in and a lot of people sweating. in the webinar, yeah, sweating. A lot of the a lot of athletes that are watching have uh, posted that they they love the workout. Um, I'm going to start off with a with a a good question from uh, Jose Sofuentes. Um, he wants to know how much does a how much does a ra how much water does a raider drink a day? How much does a wa raider drink a day? <laughs> yeah. Um, so what I try and do is I try and do. So basically my weight divided by two in ounces. So I weigh about 220 pounds. So divide that by two, 110 ounces is what I'm trying to drink in a day. Um, so that's like a good uh, frame of reference. I think that probably ends up being about five or six water bottles, but um, drinking water, really, really important. Um, what I do uh, every single morning. So I wake up and I have a glass of water, about probably 12, 12 ounces, something like that. Just wake up, chug a glass of water. First thing I do right when I wake up every morning, get some metabolism going, um, gets you hydrated because when you're sleeping, you know, you haven't drank any water in probably seven or eight hours. So um, try and drink a lot of water every day. Nice. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see from, uh, I'm just, I'll get to some of these. Uh, what do you, uh, uh, Nathan Gale wants to know, what are you doing to stay busy during shelter in place? So um, trying to stay busy. Uh, well, the interesting thing is, so since um, we're not able to work out in the gym right now, we've got some weights and some things like this. So part of it, same way I did uh, for y'all today is designing our workout. So that's a big part every day is, you know, waking up, figuring what muscle groups I'm trying to hit, using what I have, um, you know, try and figure out how I can um, best accomplish that. Um, do a lot as much punting as, as type drills as I can. I have a jugs machine, which basically just, uh, I can get someone to basically uh, simulate a snap so I can work on my hands and work on catching. Um, and then I'm using a lot of the time really to connect with some people I haven't talked to in a long time. Um, FaceTime, reaching out to different people. I think it's kind of interesting because we all have time that um, we, we don't usually have. And we know that everybody's got a little bit of freedom and availability right now. So I think it's a great time to reconnect to um, friends or, or family that you might have lost touch with over the years um, and just see how they're going. So it's been really good to reconnect with some people through uh, FaceTime and Zoom and different things like that. Yeah, I think everybody's becoming experts on Zoom now because mm -hmm. that's what we use so much. Definitely. Um, let's see, uh, Christine, do you have a question for AJ? Sure. We'll to, yeah. AJ, what music do you use to get yourself pumped up? What, what music do I use? Yes. Oh, that's a good question. So I like all different kinds of music, really. Um, one thing that I, uh, one song, it's a called, maybe it's just called Time. It's from the movie Inception, and it's just like the score from the movie, and it's just a really slow buildup, and I don't know, sometimes I like to just put that in my headphones. Uh, I listen to that sometimes walking around the field before games, and just kind of try and feel like I'm in a movie. And uh, I like I like to listen. I'm pretty sure it's called Time. I have to look that up. But it's a uh, it's one of the songs from the movie Inception. That's a really good song. That always just gets my heart pounding, like I'm doing the punches. Thanks Great for the workout. Thanks for the, today's workout. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. Uh, Ryan, do you have a question? Oh, hold on. Ryan hey, muted. muted. Can we get Ryan off mute? Oh, there we go. Hi, AJ. This is Ryan. Hey, Ryan. What have you been doing to stay fit at home? What have I been doing to stay fit at home? So I've been doing um, a lot of stuff really pretty similar to what we just did. Um, you see, I was using that yoga mat. Um, I found some YouTube videos um, of yoga to stay flexible and stay active. And then I've got a couple of weights. So I have a kettlebell. I've been doing some kettlebell swings, I've been doing some bicep curls, some body weight squats. Um, and a lot of ab work, um, just to try and um, keep my core strong. So I've been doing all of those stuff. And then, you know, on, on nice days, obviously social distancing, but try and get outside and run a little bit um, and stay six feet away from everybody. 
Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. Uh, Eric, do you have a, do you have a question? How have you, you, you been, been eating, eating healthy. healthy? How have I been eating healthy? That is a great question. So, you know, it's, it's interesting because coming from college where I just was, you know, a little over a year ago, pretty much every meal is uh, in the dining hall and provided for us, but having to cook every meal, I've had to learn some new skills. So um, I've tried to start off my day with something like eggs or a smoothie. Um, I actually made a smoothie about 30 minutes before we got on this call. So smoothies have been really good because I put some fruit in there and I put some spinach in there. Um, some almond milk, um, and just try and stay stay healthy that way. And um, I've actually been doing one of the meal delivery services. It's called HelloFresh. Um, and uh, so they've been sending me some food and just learning how to cook, um, which I never really knew how to do all that much. So it's kind of fun because I get to learn a new skill. And, um, you know, if I don't cook well, I got to deal with the consequences and eat it myself. So um, learning a new skill and just trying to cook as much as I can and not eat out. Nice. Um, so some questions that have been typed in. Now that, you know, the Raiders are in Las Vegas now, are you going to be, are you going to become a Golden Knights fan? Mm. That's a great question. So I'm actually, I'm from uh, Atlanta originally and I grew up being an Atlanta Thrashers fan but then when they left then I didn't really have an NHL team anymore and I kind of lost touch with it so I think that I I've been thinking a lot about that actually but I think I'm going to be an, uh, a Golden Knights fan that I'm going to get out there and we're going to support each other so um, hopefully you know the Raiders and the Knights can kind of team up in Las Vegas and that we can uh, both win some championships. Awesome that was from uh Jesus Guzman. Uh, another question uh, from Jordan Hasty. Uh, what has been, what is your furthest punt? Um, well, sometimes, you know, when you're out there just practicing by yourself, you don't really know. But when we played the Chargers this year, we had a, a punt that went 74 yards. I think it, it probably rolled a couple yards after, but um, it ended up being a 74 yard punt. And that's definitely my furthest um, in a game. Oh, nice. All right. Hey, Billy, uh, you or your dad have a question to ask? I don't know. Uh, well, you there? How happy you do? How are you staying connected with your teammates? How am I staying what from my teammates? How are you staying connected with your teammates? Oh, connected with my teammates. Um, so we have uh, the, you know, a couple of the guys that I'm closer with on the team. I've FaceTimed with a couple of times. And, we have some group texts um, that we use to communicate about just what we're doing and um, staying in touch and everything. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, we're kind of all over the country right now in different places. Some people are still out in Oakland. Some people are already in Vegas. Um, people are just kind of training wherever um, and wherever they're sheltered right now. So um, just trying to stay in touch uh, via FaceTime. Um, we haven't we haven't done any Zoom calls, but uh, things like that, and just try and stay um, around each other as as much as we can. Cool, Denton, you got a you got a question, man? Denton was gonna ask, um, what is what is his most favorite, or what is his what is most exciting about the organization moving to Vegas? Ooh, what is most exciting about the organization moving to Vegas? That's a great question. That is a great question. Um, you know, I'm really excited about our new stadium. Uh, I've seen, you know, I got to go out there um, in the middle of January and see where it was then. And I've seen some pictures and videos since. I heard some people are calling it the Death Star and they just got those, you know, black windows right off of the strip. And it's, uh, I think Allegiant Stadium is going to be really, really cool. And I'm excited to get in there and play in a new stadium. Um, and I'm just excited about, I feel like sometimes with change, there's just uh, so much possibility. So just move into a new city, you know, there's no telling um, the way that Vegas is gonna receive us. And uh, we're just excited to go in there into a new city and, uh, you know, try and bring some good memories um, to, to, to Las Vegas. 
Man, I know that uh, Vegas is excited to have the Raiders, so uh, can't wait for that to start. And that stadium looks amazing. Um, uh, question from Jake Roselle. What is your most special memory from playing football? Ooh. <sighs> most special memory from playing football. So, um, so – me and my dad uh, have a really, really good relationship. And um, he, so when I was in college, I went to NC State University and you guys know what a selfie is, right? So picture like this. So uh, my dad and I actually took a selfie before uh, every game that I played in college. So I uh, ended up playing four seasons, 13 games. So 52 total games in college. And then uh, when we played the first, uh, game this year against the Denver Broncos on Monday Night Football um, you know he was down there and we got to take a selfie uh, before that game and that was just really cool I, I think I'll remember that for the rest of my life because you grow up as a as a kid watching football and those guys are superheroes to you and to kind of just sit back and be like you know I'm 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 out here playing this game doing what I love and I got my parents support and uh, that that was a really cool moment and I think I'll remember that and have that picture forever. Awesome. Uh, so we only have a couple more minutes uh, for a question and answer. Um, let's see. Uh, there's some questions here of, you know, um, let's see. People may not know, but they want to know what college did you play for? And, yeah, so uh, I, I played at uh, NC State University. It's in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, we're in the ACC. So we play teams like Clemson, Florida State, Louisville, um, Miami, teams like that. Yeah, uh, I'm a Big Ten fan, so I'm a Penn State and the Lions fan. So I had, I had to throw that out there. But Our, um, our fullback, Alec Ingold's Wisconsin yeah. guy, and he's kind of turned me – Wisconsin's my Big Ten team, so we got okay. a little – Yeah, we got a little beef there, I guess. <laughs> That's not bad. If you would have said Ohio State, we probably would have had to end the interview right now. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> um, but uh, we're going to go with one last question uh, from uh, Paul Brooks. Paul, uh, we'll unmute you in a second. Okay. Hi, 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 AJ. Thank you for your awesome workout. And the story about your dad was amazing. Now, Thank first you. question is, what is the first restaurant you're going to go to for a meal after this is all over? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That is a great question. Uh, so I haven't decided which restaurant, but I think the first type of restaurant I'm gonna go to is a Mexican restaurant. I wanna sit down and I want the chips and the salsa, I want the queso, I want the guacamole. And I think I'll probably just eat chips for 45 minutes. Um, and then maybe if I still have room for a meal. So I love I love Mexican food. And uh, just not, not having that chips and salsa before the meal has really been uh, been tough for me, so. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Great question. AJ, um, so for the last thing, is there any, is there something that you'd like to share for, uh, you know, we have everybody that's out there listening and our athletes here. Um, what words, uh, what words or quotes, what pushes you to get motivated every day? Is there something that you, a motto or a mantra that you live by that pushes you through? Um, yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, You know, I, I think that um, there's a quote that my mom used to tell me, and I might get the words a little bit wrong, but basically what my mom said is that there's no secrets to success, because a lot of people say, oh, what's the secret to success? My mom would always say that th there are no secrets, that success comes from people who consistently work hard. And um, I think that I try and have that mindset and remember that you can't just be able to turn it on and just show up one day that any success that's had in life, it's a series of decisions that were made to work hard and be doing the right thing. So I'm trying to take every single day and just say, all right, how can I maximize every day? And I think we're in an interesting um, time of life just with the coronavirus and the quarantine that's going on. We probably have more free time than we've ever had in our lives. And so I think we can look at that and say, oh, well, we could just be lazy and we could just wait until this is over. Or we could say, all right, how can I maximize my day today? How can I be the best athlete I can be, the best person I can be, 
best, you know, member of society, everything I can do. Um, so I, I try and just take it and know that success is never an overnight thing. It's a series of decisions. Um, and I really try and um, look at it that way and understand that, um, you know, if you treat it that way, that, you know, it, it's really not a lot of people that are going to be able to prevent you from doing what you want to do. That's a great answer. Um, AJ, thank you for being on and, uh, um, you know, working out with our athletes and answering the questions uh, that we had from them. Um, we hope that everybody enjoyed uh, this Play 60 virtual experience. Uh, the recording will be available on uh, the Special Olympics Nevada page, Facebook page, and the Northern California uh, Facebook page. And thanks to the partnership with the NFL uh, and the Las Vegas Raiders for providing this opportunity to still get active even and healthy even at home. Um, and we encourage you to continue to get 60 minutes of physical activity a day by visiting nfl.com play 60 to access free play 60 theme fitness videos that you can do at home. So, uh, and again, thanks to special Olympics, Northern California, Nevada, and special Olympics international. Do we all have, uh, our water bottles with us right now? Can we do it? Can we do one last cheers? One last cheers. Let's say cheers to AJ, cheers to Special Olympics, cheers to NFL, cheers, and, AJ. and cheers AJ. to the Raiders. Cheers, AJ. Cheers. 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 We'll see you guys later. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. All right, AJ, thanks a lot, man.